contest for area C4. And our first contestant is Benedict Love. Benedict Love. Joshua, do you have breakfast this morning? No. Good. Because in Postmasters, evaluation is the breakfast for champions. So Joshua, this is my breakfast to you. Because as a champion, you won my heart. First of all, you are a very smart speaker. I really like that. I was curious to listen to what your speech is about. You can change. And then suddenly, you relate it back to the previous test speaker speech. So we're all immediately engaged in trying to figure out what are these kind of three people you're talking about. So it establishes the connection with the audience. So that is something that you've done very well. And number two, throughout your speech, I really enjoy how you use similes. You have very rich language. In fact, your whole speech is a simile itself. You're trying to relate three kinds of people into three kinds of animals. And of particular, you even use the phrase, can smell during a storm. So that paints a very vivid image, very strong use of rich language, and it makes a very visual, not just audible, but visual speech that I can see and hear. So thank you very much for tantalizing my senses. Now, for you to fly even higher, beyond an eagle, here are a few specific recommendations. Number one, you are someone who has a very strong, very noticeable presence. When you came on the stage, you were very energetic, but then just before you start, you calm yourself down, and then you just started with good afternoon. So I thought that it would be great if you can build up on the energy that you already have even before you enter the stage. You come up, you take a deep breath, and then show you're ready, and then you can go straight into the relation that you made with the test speaker. For example, you can say, do you know that I'm about to give the sequel to the test speaker speech? Uh, then it builds drama, and you're also talking about three people, so that is how you establish greater connection right from the back. Number two, I also noticed that in between your points, you tend to clasp your hand together. You have very strong use of hand gestures. You're like a maestro conducting a ceremony. Your hands were always like this. But then, when you're moving on to your next point, it comes back together again. So it would be great if your hands can be flexible as well. Use them in a bigger variety of ways, and you'll be able to improve your overall confidence and stage. And my final recommendation is your overall message. Now, your speech title was You Can Change, and that is how you bring the message as well. I felt that because your speech, at first you're talking about three types of salesmen, and then you're trying to say that we are like the animals as well. So I think by saying that we are sales people, it's a bit of disconnect. So instead, make it more general, just make it people in general, the duck, the pelican, and the eagle. And for your speech title, I feel that instead of you can change, you can become even more metaphorical. Maybe your speech title can be fly. So you can fly even higher than the eagle. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, just to recap, you are a very smart speaker, you use a lot of similes, improve on your introduction, your energy, work on your hand language, and work on your message. With that, I wish you all the best. Back to you.